What's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome to World of Hatstory. I'm Lieutenant Nathaniel Flynn of the Landship Scorpius and today we're talking about the boater hat. That's right people, uh, the boater is a iconic hat in its own right and it came into fashion sometime in the late 19th century and it kind of stayed in fashion uh, until about the early 20th century give or take um, and it's still found today it still has a lot of uses as you can see it is a straw hat that is usually made of a senate straw it's got a stiff flat crown and an iconic ribbon that goes around the crown. This hat is believed to be derived from the Canotire, Canotier? Canotier straw hat, uh, which is traditionally worn in Venice, Italy by gondola uh, paddlers. The Canotier traditionally has a really long ribbon that comes off the back uh, with a matching color ribbon going around the crown. Um, for aesthetic reasons. Uh, this is actually where they believe the connection to the name boater comes from with its um, connection to uh, ships and boats and sailing. Uh, there are a lot of other names for this hat style um, and for the process of belief I'm, I can't be I can't get into all of them but let's talk about a few of my favorites. The English Panama hat, the skimmer, the Senate hat, S-E-N-N-I-T. In Japan, it's actually known as the Can Can Hat or the Sarukin Hat. Please forgive any and all pronunciation throughout this whole video. This hat also gained a lot of notoriety at sporting games and at universities as a form of their uniform. Uh, it could also be considered a unisex hat as a lot of women wore it uh, with the aid of a hat pin. Um, and it's in a few of women's uniforms around the world as well. Of course, this hat is synonymous with the barbershop quartet look. That beautiful 1910s to 1920s like look. This hat is just like the bowler or the Humburg and it is considered to be semi-formal. Now, although we don't see this hat wherever we go, uh, it is still popular with some communities here in the modern times. For instance, they can still be seen at historical events, at some theatrical or musical events, and it's still a staple at many rowing events, especially at universities. I also want to mention that uh, the boater has been gaining a lot of traction in women's fashion lately. That being said, it's not exactly a new trend in women's fashion, as it's a good thing to mention that Coco Chanel was very fond of boaters back in the 1920s and pushed really hard to make them a staple of women's fashion. Now, being made of straw, this hat is generally considered a warm weather hat. Actually, it is such a staple of the warm weather hat that it is actually the uh, iconic hat of Straw Hat Day. Straw Hat Day was a day uh, unofficially celebrated by Western communities. It was the day in which the seasons changed and it was generally considered the first day of summer or the first day it felt like summer uh, and it was when uh, men stopped wearing their felt or wool or uh, generally winter hats and switched to the summer straw hats. Just like Straw Hat Day, um, there is a counter on the other side of the season called Felt Hat Day. It is generally considered it is uh, appropriate for men to stop wearing the straw hats of the summer and go back to the more traditional felt, wool, or etc. hats that you would see more towards uh, mid-fall and, uh, and winter. This tradition, as you can expect with men, um, took on a little bit of a harsher role as years went by as a man seen wearing a straw hat after felt hat day was generally ridiculed. Same thing as men who wore wool hats throughout the summer. 
This led to a general trend in cities uh, where young males would violently enforce uh, Felt Hat Day, uh, and they did so by running around the city snatching people's straw hats from their head and destroying them. This led to some people, say on the New York Stock Exchange floors, uh, who would purposefully wear straw hats to try to uh, kind of coax their co-workers or their friends into destroying it for the fun of the day. However, as can be expected with all good things and America and men, uh, it was taken too far and this led to an event known as the Straw Hat Riots where groups of young men uh, scoured the city and destroyed countless hats and led to many arrests. This is a topic for another video at another time. And with that, what else is there to say about this amazing boater? It is so iconic. It is so easy to wear. I bought mine at Amazon.com. I thought that it would be a little bit cheaper for the price it was, but this is one of the best boaters I've actually seen in person, um, and it was much cheaper than other ones I've seen. Of course, there are plenty of hat sellers selling uh, these iconic hats. You can have your choice. Um, it is a good hat for the beach. It is a good hat uh, for the hot days of summer, um, or if you just want to wear a particular hat. Um, this is a great men's fashion choice and to be honest it doesn't look so bad on the ladies either uh, and it, it's gaining a lot of traction as a woman's hat uh, so if you are interested in hats go give it a shot and with that that's all we can do for this episode of world hat story 101 if you liked it please like it down below subscribe to this new channel this is the world hat story channel going forward this is where world hat story 101 will call its home so please subscribe to this channel help us hit 100 subscribers thank you guys so much for watching and with that i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day